Hey everyone, have you ever tried to launch your favorite game only to have it crash before it even starts, throwing up the dreaded self-protection failed? Error code, 4-inch message? It's one of those errors that doesn't give you much to go on, and it can really ruin your evening. But don't worry, today I want to talk through a few simple things you can do to get back in the game and leave that error behind. First off, take a moment to scan your computer for malware. Sometimes, these protection checks get tripped up by suspicious files or remnants of old software, so a clean system is always a good starting point. Once that's done, head over to your game in Steam, right-click, go to Properties, then Local Files, and hit Verify Integrity of Game Files. It might take a few minutes, but if any files are missing or corrupt, Steam will replace them and save you a world of trouble. And here's a quirky trick, after you launch the game and see the error pop up, Try clicking OK as fast as you can, sometimes it'll let you slip past the check just for one run. If you use Steam Cloud, check whether it's enabled for your game. If it isn't, turn it on, wait for the cloud to sync, then disable it again if you like, if you get a mismatch, choose the version on your hard drive. It sounds a bit roundabout, but it refreshes your save and settings in a way that can clear out conflicts. Finally, always run both your Steam client and the game executable as an administrator and add them to your firewall or antivirus exceptions. A quick reboot after all these tweaks couldn't hurt either. Now, if you've been in this game for a while, leftover files from old installs can sneak in and cause issues. Uninstall the game, then manually delete its folder in your program files or wherever you installed it. After that, reinstall from scratch. You'd be surprised how often that clears the problem right up. There's also a more targeted fix for Unity-based games. Navigate into the game's directory and delete the Unity Crash Handler or Unity Crash Handler 64.exe. Some people have found that removing that file stops the self-protection routine from failing. Lastly, keep your graphics drivers up to date, especially if you have a card like an RTX 3080 or similar. After updating, run another file verification. In some cases, users even bypass third-party launchers, like the 2K or Epic launchers, by launching the game's executable directly. It's a bit of an advanced move, but if you're comfortable digging into your game folder, it can be the final piece that gets you back in. Give these steps a try and let me know in the comments which one did the trick for you. Good luck out there, and happy gaming!